Hello world, this is Lisa Fredrickson, your friend and computer science professor from Johnson County Community College. In this short screencast, we're going to be talking about javascript.info. It's a website that has a free online JavaScript textbook, or they call it the Modern JavaScript Tutorial. It comprehensively covers JavaScript. So for Web 114, the class in which I'm using this tool, we'll be covering parts of it. And I just want to give you an overview of how well this book is written for the web. First of all, it's free. You can't beat the price. Second of all, it is comprehensive in that it comprehensively covers JavaScript in two big parts. Part one is the JavaScript language itself as taught from a pure programming standpoint. And that's important to know all the constructs of the programming language that you're using. However, it doesn't get fun, in my opinion, until we apply those skills to manipulating content and styles on a web page. And that part, the part about using JavaScript to manipulate HTML and CSS, is taught in, I'll scroll way down, part two, the browser. So in our class, we'll be jumping between parts one, learning the fundamentals of JavaScript, and part two, when we apply those fundamentals to a web page. And all that will be organized for you in our Canvas shell where the course is outlined. I just want to share with you that there's a lot more subjects in this textbook than we'll be covering for our JavaScript 1 class, but I will clearly identify those sections of the book that we'll be covering for the class. If we scroll on down to part three, there's all kinds of additional wonderful articles that may benefit you in your education. For example, in almost every programming language, we need to learn quite a bit about regular expressions, do matches, for data and text. When you first come into the website, you'll just type it into the browser, javascript.info, and you can scroll down to the section that you want to read. The first thing we're going to do, of course, is read 1.1, an introduction to JavaScript. And I want you to see that once you get into a chapter in the book, there's a navigation on the left that talks about all the major parts in that section. There's also a hamburger icon where we can expand and collapse that navigation. There's also a tutorial map that we can click that gives you an overview of the entire site. And if worse comes to worse, just type in javascript.info again, and that will take you back to the top and you can scroll down and find the specific section that you want to read. Now, when we start getting into this, it even has little code snippets. Our first little script will be the traditional hello world script. And so when you see code, you can click the little show button and it will show you the alert hello world that this code is creating. Or you can click this little sandbox button and it takes you to Plunker, code simulation site, where you can make modifications to the code. For example, I'll say hello Lisa instead of hello world. And you can see how your modifications to the code change the code. I'm going to leave Plunker and go back to javascript.info. The code snippets are wonderful because you can run them and you can also interact and modify them. As you continue to scroll down, at the end of the chapter, you're going to find a wonderful summary as well as tasks. And from those tasks, you can practice your skills and even see the solution to those skills. You'll see that a lot of my assignments will be modifications of these tasks, and all of those assignments will be described in our Canvas course shell. But this textbook, JavaScript.info, is going to form the backbone, the core of what we're learning in Web 114, JavaScript 1. At the very bottom of each little section in each chapter, there's a comment section. And it's interesting to read the questions and the responses Anyone can make a comment, anyone can make a response. And in this way, this textbook is constantly being improved and updated. Now, of course, if you have any questions about JavaScript or our projects or our quizzes or anything about the class, I hope that you will direct them to me and use our discussion threads at Canvas so that everyone in our class can benefit from that Q&A. So thank you, JavaScript.info. I think it's a fantastic textbook. It is current, it is interactive, it is comprehensive, and it is constantly being improved and updated. Thank you.